Hi, I'm Dan Whittaker. I'm here today to uh, analyse the golf swing of Zach Johnson for you. Um, Zach uh, has a kind of particularly different type of style of playing that uh, he tends to uh, stand a little bit open with most of his shots, uh, have a very, very strong grip, yet manage to uh, work the ball both ways quite easily. He's got a very rotational type golf swing um, with a lot of speed in there. Um, yet it also um, has unerring accuracy and hits it quite a lowish ball flight, obviously quite evident from his um, strong left-hand grip. Now, um, first thing we're going to actually look at is um, one here from the Masters where he's got a swing guide, which is this yellowed contraption attached to the golf shaft. And this is um, used to help him get the set of the golf club. What we tend to see here with Zach is that he turns away in one piece and allows the left wrist to cock quite quite aggressively at this point getting the golf club quite upright but keeping his hands very much in front of his body so the centre point of the hand is in line with his sternum which suggests that the arms are very much in front of the body so he's turned away and kept the arms nicely in front and wide now as he continues to take it to the top as he continues to set and keeps that um, swing guide very much in in and set onto the wrist with the arms very much in front of the body. Okay, I'll bring a couple of more views in here. This is from the 2011 Masters. Okay, we see here how uh, it's turned to the body. Um, he tends to set the club going up. Okay, very much again, arms in front, centre points of the hands in line with the sternum and the shaft working upwards. Okay, as you get to the top here, we see evidence of the grip being a little bit strong, even though he's set it quite aggressively, because the left wrist, um, sorry, the um, golf club is a little bit closed at the top, but he's going to get away with this, because he's kept the arms so in front of the body, so they're going to work with the body rotation, and he's also got a lot of depth of turn, meaning that the club's going to attack quite a long way from the inside. We now pull this recording in from the rear view. And we see how beautifully he turns. We, he's got a quite a, a Ben Hoganish type look to his turn here, in that the butt of the club, um, the 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 uh, butt of his body here, or his tailbone, is actually turning towards the target. So as he turns, we see that the tailbone has actually turned this way a little towards the target, meaning that the space that his right hip occupied has moved. Although the camera moved here, what we're going to see is that how, how evidence that is that he's made a very deep hip turn. We actually see this against Mr. Hogan from the rear view. Now this is stuff shot from um, Shady Oaks. We see how deep the hip turn is here for him. Same, it's very similar look to Zach in that the, both, both guys have got their upper bodies angled away from the target. And the tailbone has turned towards the target, yet the arms are very much in front of the body. So the elbow is very wide here on both these guys. Both have got the elbow very much in front of the body, but with a very deep turn. It's amazing how similar they both look in this footage from this angle. We now see how great Zach looks through the golf ball here as he begins to unwind using the left knee, left hip, left shoulder as he's along the left side to start to unwind and he keeps the arms very much in front of the body. Now the one thing he does so well is he uses the swing guys and he allows it to set into the left wrist but what he does is he he tries to keep that in there as long as he possibly can through the golf ball. The arms are in front of the body he then unwinds and keeping the swing guide attached onto the left arm. Now, from here, he, fe he feels like he's almost holding the face open a little bit, and he keeps the arms beautifully in front of the body, with a beautiful wide extension here through the ball, once again, keeping the arms <clears throat> so well in front of the body. We see a very signature look to his finish here, almost like a three-fingered type look to the finish, where it's like a hold-off finish, where he's unwound wound through and kept the arms so in front of the body. This is then what he did throughout the goal swing, is that he kept the, he had them in front to begin with, took the back swing, kept them wide and in front, then all the way through the down swing and into the follow-through, had this kind of hold-off look, where the, it's almost like an anti-left look to the end of the follow-through, 
where he's coming right through. If we have a look um, comparable to Hogan again here, and we see from the position where they were at the top, where they were so similar, we see through the golf ball here, how they're both hitting these little hold-off type look finishes to the iron shots. Yet, Mr. Hogan was um, was allowed uh, allowed the golf club to release a lot more, although he had the arms pretty wide here. He, he allowed the face to release a little more than that because he didn't have the, the grip anywhere near as strong, so he could allow it to fully release without the fear of the golf ball ever going off to the left. But we see Jackson was holding this face open all the way to the finish, whereas Mr. Hogan here Eve is allowing it to release a little more, even though they're both holding little hold-off type shots. Now when we view Zach from the front view here, we can actually see the slightly uh, stronger grip here in the left hand. And then we see a very, very synced up golf swing. In other words, when we see this left shoulder stop turning, we see the arms stop moving at the same moment and the arms are very much in front of the chest. We then see how he keeps it so much in front of him throughout the golf swing. He kind of keeps it around very much extending away, but he doesn't let the um, left, side, left arm move with the left side of the body. It kind of moves away a little bit here. And showing that the arms are a little bit independent of the turn um, at that point through the golf ball, but it's kind of that they're extending away to try and keep in front of him because he almost tries to keep the club face looking at the ball, at the uh, target going down the line here, and then at the finish comes through to allow the back of the right hand to look at the target at the finish. So he's always keeping the club face very very square to the target throughout the golf swing. So you can see on the way through how well he is keeping this club face looking at the target, then coming up and then at the finish, almost seeing this like little hold off finish where the back of the right hand is looking at the target to the finish. Now when we have a look at the one that we had looked to start with with the swing guide, we see at the top here how beautifully the arms work in front of the body, the butts then working around, but the right arm does move away from the body and that's evidenced again of him keeping his club face looking at the target for as long as possible through the ball and very evidenced once again at the finish is how the back of the right hand is looking at the target and the club hasn't really released, he hasn't let it fully release through the shot. I've just brought Mr Hogan in from Power Golf here and next to Zach here from the front view and we can see here how similar they both look in terms of pivot action going back both got very similar positions of the body. Now, arms are very wide and in front of the body with both of the guys. Now, on the way through, the arms stay beautifully in front, but the arm just gets a bit more detached away with Zach than it does with Mr. Hogan here. It is a bit more of a hold off shot, but the arm isn't bowing away quite as much. But there are a lot of similarities in the way that they're both keeping their arms very much in front of the body. It's amazing how similar they both look as they're trying to keep the arms in front of the body and allow the body turn to control the action. We then pull them through to the finish here and we see Zach back of the right hand look at the target. Mr. Hogan, let's pull it exactly just to there so he's got the same finish. Both look almost identical to the finish there, very much hitting this little hold off type shot. From this slight side rear on view from this year's Masters, we're going to see how the right arm does extend away quite a bit here but the club isn't turning over keeping it very passive and then the finish once again back of the right hand looking at the target now again i've just compared zach here to uh, mr hogan from the side 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 on rear view okay and um, you can see that mr hogan has got the arms in front of the body beautifully well at the top of the golf swing he's just got the club a little bit more loaded than zach has at the top right here Okay, and then as we see them into the transition, Mr. Hogan will create a lot more lag um, than Zach will. This is where a lot of his extra power will come from, and he also has a lot more rotational speed than Zach, particularly with the driver, um, allowing it to fully release without the fear of it ever going left, due to not having a stronger grip. Now what we see there is Zach, a club a little closed here, arms but beautifully down in front of the body. Mr. Hogan's move into the body a little bit more than Zach's, where we see Zach, the arms move away, Mr. Hogan stay with it. See Zach's move away a touch more through the impact, but what we see through to the finish again is this kind of wide look to the finish. Um, and Mr. Hogan hitting these little hold off iron shots that he used to always hit, these kind of three finger type shots. See a very similar look to the finish here, the back of the right hand very much looking at the target. 
I do hope you've enjoyed this um, analysis of Zach Johnson. Um, if you want to contact me, you can do at dan at danwhitakergolf.com or you can visit my website, um, danwhitakergolf.com. I hope you enjoyed the analysis. I look forward to joining you again soon. Thanks a lot.